Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, and you'll hear and see Ray Ferraro in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich, and we are tonight seeing a team that is on a bit of a downside. They have not been able to win consistently lately. Take us inside that locker room. What's it like? Well, you got to try to find some confidence, Doc, right now, because you are shaken. The pressure is on you. Your fans are on you. The media is on you. Your coach is probably all over you. But I think more than anything else, it's a mindset. Is Let's not really try to worry about winning the game because that is the end result, and we know that. But let's win the first period and see where we are after the first period of play. Arizona's found themselves on a losing streak as of late, but they have been doing some good things. It's just a matter of time before they are rewarded for all their hard work. Maybe it's tonight. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. The last game was forgettable, but he is coming back here to try and make some more positive memories in this one. This man's getting the call, and it's done with confidence. Let's see if he can own the crease for the visitors. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. The Bears have the first possession of the game. St. Petersburg's defied the odds, Doc, by putting together a win streak like this. It's hard to get a single win in this league, let alone a streak like this. Thoughts now from Ray Ferraro. It's like a little trailer to a movie when you watch East vs. West. You get a little bit of what could be a smorgasbord, which is the Stanley Cup Final. Thanks very much, Ray. Arizona's got a defensive zone win. Pucks loose, mishandled. Out in front. Score! Didn't take long, did it? Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back at your heels too long. We knew the scoreless tie would be broken. Who thought this early and by the visitor? Well, the visitor's got to gain a lot of confidence getting this early lead. The Coyotes got that faceoff win. Now what? Puck is thrown to Galchenyuk. Assisted by number 10, Tom. Propelled to Perlini. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Breaks away. The Coyotes in their own end in possession as they travel. Puck loose now picked up. And he steps across the line. A shot. Got a piece of that one. Turn the wrist shot. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. How many stops can one goaltender make? Ranta's blocker save is a pretty routine one. He's in good position and he deflects this out of danger. Arizona's prevailed on another faceoff. The Coyotes are driving it from the wing. Quick wrister! At least he protected his goaltender. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. A little over three minutes gone here in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Passing one off now to Faust. Gains the zone. Took that away in his own zone. Takes a shot. A good stick stop. And freezes play for the whistle. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Solid win of the draw. Scooped up by Calvert. Pitching it to McGinn. Chip to Calvert. Loose puck knocked away by Ekman Larson. And now it's directed to Stroll. Takes that pass from the other point. 
Pass attempt to Calvert. Looking to McGinn. Lost the puck. Just couldn't get Bob. Crosses that line. Passes to the slot. Score! trickier to control but he handles it perfectly there he thought he had this he's right there he's on top of the puck but it gets past him and it's in the net behind him arizona's won that neutral zone face off by number 12 matt Regathers it. Add flashed out to turn that aside. Moving it to McGinn. Is able to move on in. Snapping a pass to Beagle. Shoots. That shot came from right in front. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. He gets it back. Shoots one. Blocked. The Coyotes with a neutral zone possession along the way. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Cuts that off. St. Petersburg forced another turnover in this very close game. Can he beat him here? Oh, what a terrific save in close. Watch out, a big hit. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Shoots! Save! He hangs on and gets the whistle. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Clean win on the draw. Trying to go to Hoffman. Still has control up the wing. And he shoots. Took care of that one. Swept on to Suster. Shoots. Great block. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. That puck still inside. Carried through the middle of the ice. Let's a shot go. That's terrific work with the pad. Terrific determination by Suster. Smart recovery by Jalmerson. Up the wing still with possession and with hope. Let's it go. Perfect tip by the stick. Looking for options up the wing. Onside. Intercepted that one at an important place. Pass through center ice. Gathered up again by Martinez. In all alone. What a move on that one with the stick. Tried to clear but failed. Really good cut of the pass. Breaks free. The Bears shifting gears back in their own end. They battle on up the wing. Fires, blockered away. Rister from the slot, and still another save. What a show. Amazing reflexes on that second chance. Can't get a shot on. Recollected. Pitching this one to Beagle. Directing that one to Hagelin. Laid on to step on. And that is number 20. Springs don't come along very often, and when you have one, 
want it to continue. But eventually it's going to end, and it does with that goal. The Coyotes has done well to get back to within one in this game. And lots of playing time remains. We're late in period number one tonight. Scored by number 21, Derek Stepin, Arizona's continuing on up the wing. Dogged determination there by Suster. Slid to Beagle. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. The Bears want to be an aggressive team, and this player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Sometimes I wonder if he even looks at the puck. Just a little over four minutes to be played here in the first. With the scoring of that goal, they're back to within one. So maybe they can tie this thing up. Fires. Missed the net. Oh, you got to get that on the net. He leaned into this. That thing was by the goalie, but he just missed the net. The Bears are at the wing in neutral ice. Just a backhand. Missed it wide. Makes that play deep. Kruger's carrying it through center. Shoots one. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Jostled off the puck. Oh, broke it up. Let's it go. Good save there. Puck is thrown to Perlini. Passing one off now to Pouillard. Driving toward that net. He scores! get this close to the goaltender to puck on your stick you got to snap it quick this is the default position for the goaltender he's in the butterfly but he gets beat up over the blocker side he's got to be able to get a shoulder on now the coyotes from the neutral zone start to work arizona setting up an offense from the wing Time of the goal. 18 On to Perlini. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Didn't go very well there. Who comes up with it? In the first period. Using the point. Scooped up. Perfectly on his stick in that pass from the left wing. He lost it, but got it back. Great stick there. Pitching it to Stroll. Nice work by Jalmerson. Propelled to Stroll. From the outside. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. And they head to the locker room, separated by two. Open the seniors account this month that if they bank can get access to team press conferences, the Bears, on the strength of this late period goal, carry a two goal lead into the dressing room. We'll return in just a moment. to the net. Routine save, but a necessary one. Chip to Dumoulin. In with it now. A shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. And the pickup. The Bears with possession through the neutral zone. And now it's directed to Perlini. Play is offside, 
back to center ice. But we do have some. If you're looking for a great seat to our upcoming game, tickets are available for purchase at the ticket booth or online by visiting our website. Neutralized face-off win. Can start the attack going in the zone. Shot! Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Arizona's been a step slow throughout this contest. Their goaltender has saved them so many times. The fact that they're within a stone's throw of this game is kind of a miracle. He's in! Marvelous save. All those glorious moves, not enough. Shot. That shot came from just six inches. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Good save there. And that whistle will give them relief for the moment. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Critical face-off win at that point. Shoots one. He got iron with that one. Smart recovery by Martinez. Pass attempt to McGinn. And the linesman waves off icing. He got there first. Shutout positioning by Calvert. Gains that offensive line. Shot on. Well done with that pass. Laid on to Calvert. Shoots one. Score! They're back to within one. Well, the element been a surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. The Coyotes, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half. And still an entire period to play. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Not able to do that well. Pushing it on in the defensive zone. The puck heads to neutral zone. And look, it's just like a magnet. Everybody goes there. Corrals it. Shoots. Can't get it on net. You've got to make the goalie make the save. Can't do that unless the puck is on the net. And icing will be called on this play. St. Petersburg's offense has run through his hands for most of the last little while. His point streak continues. He has been a force both at 5-on-5 five five and on the power play over the last few games. They won that draw. Right to the point. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. He's got that pass and can look ahead. Gathered up by Kruger. Through the corner now. Chuck, that's terrific goaltending. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. In the slot. Long lead pass to Goligoski. Gathered up again by Kruger. Takes the shot. Had it away. Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Need to get rid of it. Steps across that line. Shoots. Wonderful chance to score, but no. The Coyotes up the wing are moving the puck. Offside stops the clock. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little over nine minutes played here in period two. So they have scored. The deficit now is one. Looking to Pouillot. Nicely into the zone. Shoots one. Waffle boarded. Takes it right back. 
The Coyotes are skating it up at neutral ice. A solo rush. Oh, what a save on a marquee name there. Slid to Pouliot. On to Galchenyuk. Moving it on up the wing. Great chance here. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Moving it to Ponick. Snapping a pass to Dvorak. A big, big hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Right in front. Skill play by Ekman Larson. Trying to go to Dvorak. Has it back deep. Good rushing down the ice, and the icing gets canceled. Arizona's in control of the puck in their own end. Skates it into the zone. A shot. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Can they miss that pass? Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. A little under six minutes to go in the second. Five goals in this game. It's a 3-2 contest, and it's tight. Give that goalie credit for another. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Faust. Deflected off the blocker. Puck out of the zone and the attackers regroup. Takes his pass from the goalie. Steps in from the neutral zone. Flings it. He wears that glove for a reason. Show off. Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. Good job on the draw. Pitching this one to Strong. what he's made to do. The Bears have had an excellent season, Doc, and as a result, they lead the league standings. They've won close games. They've won in blowouts. They've won when they've had to get to shootouts. It doesn't matter what facet of the game you talk about. They've had the answer. Winners attract, don't they, Ray, judging by the fans in their city. Gets the pass through to start a play. Gotten quickly back. Great poke check. Got that pass in his own end. Carries it on in from center. A shot. Didn't miss by much. Coach has always told him, hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot. And unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. Decides he wants the corner. Let's it go. Nice save with the glove. And yet another save. How does he do that? Amazing reflexes. Defensive zone win. That is up close and personal. Ekman Larson's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room. But he gets tagged there. Takes it in from the neutral zone. No way he's getting by there. Into the last minute of the second period. Back on his stick. Directing that one to Cousins. Shoots. Great save. That puck is held and the whistle stops playing. 
St. Petersburg's leading this game because they've been so aggressive. They've not given their opponent any room to create anything with the puck. The Coyotes win that faceoff. Solid work there by Suster. Propelled to Bonino. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action. We'll get a light meal with one of our many grill locations on the pond. St. Petersburg's goaltender has made a difference in this game. His team has gotten the goals, and he has made saves like this. More in a moment. minutes have been played they are getting ready for the third period here so take us back through the game what do you think Eddie the Coyotes have had the better of the play doc especially in the category of time of possession they're down in this third period but they have to start finishing off some of their chances leads that charge into the zone oh and the pass wouldn't go Chip Deceivier shoots big point blank save there. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. The Coyotes with a face-off win. Arizona's moving to center. Chooses the corner for this. Many yards gain to Goligoski. Shoots. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. The goalie's been the one key reason that his team's been able to hold on to this lead. He's faced a high percentage of top quality shots. He stopped virtually everything. Looks ahead to start something. The Coyotes keep the play going in the middle. It's just him. Score! And the game is even. thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest, and here we are, back at a stalemate. Arizona's got possession from the faceoff. Laid on to step up. The puck is thrown to Hoffman. Brings it in for an attack. Big chance here. He scores. That's the way to turn momentum. A quick one. Well, this has been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Bears have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. St. Petersburg goals. 
gains the zone. Shoots one. Wonderful save. Oh, it laid there, but he got the whistle and halt to play. The Coyotes have been hoping for a streak like this from him from some time, but how could they imagine it would go on for this long? Another excellent night adding to this lengthy point scoring streak. Solid face off win. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Pretty tough to score on a grade A chance if you don't hit the net. That's being too fine with the puck. He's got to hit the net from there. Gathered up again by Martinez. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. And a save. Solid clean win. Slid to Beagle. Drives ahead. Collected by Bonino. Passing one off now to McGinn. Crosses that line. Snaps it on goal. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Just a bit under six minutes play. We were tied, and now it's a one-goal game. Benito's bad night on faceoffs continues. Close in play. Loose puck blocked off by McGinn. That move not too slick there. Stands him up. What a move on that one with the stick. Skilled play by Calvin. The Coyotes in possession as they travel in their own end. Pitching it to Kempney. On to Beagle. Fires! Terrific determination by Calvert. And now it's directed. It's all on his shoulders. Good save there. Pass attempt to Kruger. Looking to Beagle. He is able to move on in. Scooped up by Kruger. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Use that big goalie stick well. Terrific determination by Jalmerson. That puck still inside. Propelled to Kruger. Here they come in an odd man rush. Who gets open? A shot. That was a great play and goal. That was a tougher stop than a look. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Arizona's got that win. Lots on that to Goligoski. Got it in his own end. Puck loose, couldn't get through. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Outstanding save, difficult opportunity. Going out on the road for any length of time is hard in this league, but that's the challenge these guys face, and the best teams find a way to win at home and on the road. We have passed the 10-minute mark of the third period. St. Petersburg's done very well to break this tie. Let's see what happens next. Driving in from no man's land. Save. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Perfect pass. Pulp checked away. Has it in his own end. Shot. Got in front of another one. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Smart recovery by Jokin. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Save! Chalmerson's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutralize. Good place to shoot from. 
Gathered up again by Jokin. Hoffman's back on the ice. He's re-entered the fray and expected to contribute as he always does. We'll see if he can add to his earlier scores. Gives it to the point. Moving it to Hoffman. Nicely into the zone. Just a backhand. Save! Shot, and on top of that, another great stop! You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Nice face-off work. The Coyotes starting back in their own end. Dogged determination there by Martinez. Chuck that right away. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Over five minutes remaining in the period. So this game has gone from being dead even to a leader. Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. To Deborah. What a hit that was! Solid hit directly right through the puck carry. Excellent open ice hit. Bowley used the type of player you have to be aware when he's on the ice because he loves getting involved physically. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Puck free, roadblock by Ekman Larson. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Back at the point now. Sends it across the blue line. The shot blocked. Save with the pass. Oh, another save. Picked up by the defense. The Coyotes skated up on the side. Let's it go. A good stick stop. Calvert's got this one between the blue lines. Good work there in goal. To Kruger. And he dumps it in. Snapping a pass to Sevier. The Bears have gotten to center ice. Breakaway. Got it right back. A shot. No. Oh, that was a chance that would have sealed the deal up by one. Nice work by Puglia. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Went to the backhand. Goes back deep for it. Approaching the final minute in this game. Good position in the slot. Score! And that has tied the game. I guess this game's not going to spread out. That goal ties it. The teams are so evenly matched. Strom's gotten this game tied up at its most dramatic moment. The waning moments of the third. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Back in his defensive end to get it. Chip to Hoffman. Shoots one. Routine save. Little pass from his goalie here. To Deborah. In with it now. Smart recovery by Faust. Trying to go to Hoffman. And he gains the zone. To Deborah. Pass to the slot. He saved it. Strong save. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Let's it go. Block it away. And the game is over. Overtime is next.
Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena... The Coyotes have carried this game into overtime because of this scoring play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment. Sudden death overtime has started. If no one scores here, we'll go to a shootout. For the win! He shut down the breakaway with his stick! Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. And they've won that draw. Fires! Save! It's a penalty coming. Very important time to have a minor penalty call. And so special teams become important. Calvert's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. A little under four minutes remaining. Offense has been a strength today for both teams. We are tied at four. Laid on to Chikrin. And angled to Jalmerson. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. At the front of the net. Score! The overtime winner. And the players spill over the boards to celebrate. Arizona's fans finally have something to cheer about after a long losing streak. It was a close one, but they've gotten the victory. That's a great finish, but this play starts back with the puck carrier. He makes an excellent pass, opens up enough room for him to shoot the puck. A fun game for us. We hope it was for you. That's our show. More games to come. If they match this one, they will be special. So long for now.